Hi everybody, this is Dan and Chris from Prehistoric Facts. Uh, sorry I actually got this, epi uh, this extra episode way too late than what I wanted to, but even though, hey, I was so busy, but what can you do? But anyway, this extra episode, I'm actually going to give you a review of this book, Tom Holtz's Dinosaurs. Now, <clears throat> this book was actually released in, or rather, uh, was published in 2007, so it was 10 years ago that this book actually came out. And also, the artwork is actually by Louis Ray. And uh, throughout this book, you actually get to see the amazing artwork of Louis Ray. And uh, Tom Holtz actually brings up really good information. And he has actually talked to at least 33, at least 33 paleontologists in their respective fields about dinosaurs. And so, you actually get like at least a good portion of each dinosaur family. Now, this is what this book is mainly talking about, is mainly all the dinosaur families and, like, what their distinguishing features are, what could they possibly behave like. And so that's what this book is mainly about. And, uh, and you actually get really good information at that time. And so even though it's 10 years ago that this book actually was published, so I would actually say that some of the information uh, has, a, has changed a tad bit, but even though we actually will possibly see some same information that we have gotten like throughout the past like 50 years uh, of actually knowing about dinosaurs. But anyway, you actually have great artwork by Louis Ray. Louis Ray is one of the great paleo artists uh, of this generation and you actually kind of see how he actually brings up uh, the animals close to life. Uh, I would say that his his artwork is actually not too bad. I would actually call his artwork actually kind of uh, more towards actually looking to like say uh, more towards I would say to the teenage demographic considering that they would actually kind of look at dinosaurs in a different light uh, than what uh, little kids would but even the little kids actually still see dinosaurs as pretty cool looking animals now this book is not no this book has been actually advertised for kids but even though look at the wording of this uh, uh, if you actually look at the text writing of this of this book it's a little bit more scientific and you actually kind of actually see that this was actually aiming towards like say ages between ages 10 and up and so that would actually be the case is that 10 year old that pretty much 10 year olds would actually be reading stuff that is actually a little bit more uh, a little bit more complex and so that would actually be the case is that th this would actually be a more complex book I would say little kids are more likely going to grab attention towards the artwork more than actually though than the reading part now this book is pretty big and uh, Tom Holtz has actually done two two uh, of these already he, the second edition came out like a few years like pretty much I would say like five years ago and then he actually and he's actually working on a third book uh, that is actually gonna be similar to this and so I would say that maybe he might be changing some of the information uh, than what he actually had on the first one but in a little bit on the second one but he is actually looking towards actually uh, possibly adding more information on turns on some of the families of dinosaurs and that's what what you're probably gonna get uh, you're not gonna get too much of individual species actually talked about in this in this book there is a few that they do talk about it's just mainly towards like the more uh, famous version famous uh, of the families famous members of the family of like say hadrosaurs, iguanodontid, ceratopsian, sauropods, prosauropoda, um, tyrannosaurs, uh, dromaeosaurs, I mean you name it because first part of the book is actually talking about theropods and the and the sauropods and then like the second half of the book is actually mainly talking about more of the ornithischi ornithischians and so that would actually be the case of like iguanodontids and uh, ankylosaurs, stegosaurs, ceratopsians, you name it. And that would actually, and this book is actually not too bad from when it was actually released. You know, I read this book, it's actually pretty good. And uh, I would, and even though this some of the information has, has changed a tad bit, uh, I would actually say that um, that. It, if he is working on a third book, I would I would say that probably if he is working on that third book, probably just actually just change a tad bit of the information. Probably still go back towards like the animals that were already talked about. Um, I know he's actually looking towards actually uh, families of dinosaurs to talk about. Um, I know that he is actually working on uh, the his um, 
his uh, fan base, more likely the group that actually has read his books. And that would actually be like to add more uh, dinosaur families. But I think he pretty much covered most of the dinosaur families. It's just that I think some of the information has changed. Probably talk about like their discoveries, talk about like uh, like what inf new information has come out and all that sorts of stuff. But, uh, but anyway, this book is actually really, really good. I would actually uh, rate this, I would say, 4 out of 5. Uh, in terms of actually of a book rate book rating and uh, it's actually really good I would recommend anybody to actually get this kind of book it's uh, uh, Tom Holtz's first edition dinosaurs and so um, it has great artwork by Lewis Ray I think he I don't know if he actually did have Lewis Ray uh, for uh, the his second edition he might have had he might have hired another uh, paleo artist uh, for that one but uh, but uh, let's see how he, how that actually goes. If he actually does hire a different uh, paleo artist for the third edition, uh, we'll see how that that person actually makes the dinosaurs come to life a little bit more in the illustrations. All right, that's it for now. Now next, now this now this coming Thursday, I'll be doing another a uh, answering questions episode because I will not be around uh, the weekend of the 14th to the 16th. So that would pretty much be the case is that I'm not going to, I'm going to be out of town or probably, and mostly just going to be visiting family. And so just to let you know, and so send me your questions about dinosaurs or any other prehistoric life by emailing me at dinochris71 at gmail.com or as go on my Facebook page, prehistoric facts of Dino Chris. Like the page, you can actually post your questions in the wall or on the comments section on any Facebook post. But remember, keep your questions short to the point. You can also follow me on Twitter at CSJRALL. That's my Twitter page. I post pretty cool stuff on there. Also, I'll take care of people around you. And also, for younger people out there, to make sure listen to your parents, your teachers, and your guardians. It's the best motivation you could have. A good education is very important. Have a good education. With a good education, you get a good job in the future. All right, that's it for now. And I'll see you guys this Thursday.